Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel English Banisa. So in this video we are going to discuss degree third year fifth semester English textbook exercises which is technical vocabulary under which we have film and literature. So what is technical vocabulary? Technical vocabulary is nothing but it is a set of words and phrases that is used in a specific field or domain. That means a specific field they have their own specific words for example we say injection but doctor say syringe so that words only called technical vocabulary so in this topic we are learning film technical vocabulary and literature vocabulary so here you can see this technical vocabulary film and literature vocabulary you have in this fifth semester so under film vocabulary you have film genres, themes and characters now film genres are nothing but these are the categorized or type of films it could be action movie or it could be adventurous movie or it could be comedy or it could be thriller or it could be western horror or romantic movie so these are the genres and themes could be like a conflict or a fate or friendship theme or justice theme or it could be love revenge romance sacrifice or transformation or characters in movie or our characters in a film there are many characters like antagonist protagonist or cardboard character like a fictional character that means cardboard character means fictional character or foil means antagonist protagonist means hero the narrator and stereotype and, and so on and here under literary vocabulary literary is nothing but which is related to writing so under writing we have two types fictional and non-fictional fictional writing is nothing but this works based on imagination like a fable fairy tale and all but non-fictional these are the real things real works like biography autobiography diaries journals letters reports or travelogue and all so in this topic we are going to discuss that only technical vocabulary of film and literature so see the textbook exercises which you have in technical vocabulary so the first bit is film vocabulary now how you will get these type of questions in your exam they'll give you one sentence and they'll give you two options one correct and one incorrect you have to choose the correct one it's very simple but it's tough to learn these all new vocabulary because it's new to you all technical vocabulary so you should associate something with these words so that you can remember now let's start the exercise the first one is a boisterous comedy with absurd situation and pranks we call it slapstick now how you have to remember this slapstick you have to associate something like a boisterous comedy what is the meaning of boisterous comedy boisterous comedy is nothing but a comedy which is based on deliberately clumsy actions or embracing events so to produce humor so that name is slapstick the next a recurring piece of music that represent a character theme or action now usually we see in the movies that if antagonist means hero is coming and heroine is coming the music will be pleasant and if thangavali is coming then you know what is the music of that so that music only which represent character theme or action that's called lit motif Next one, someone the central character trusts and confides in, call confident. Means a central character, that hero or heroine who means trust on that person, that's called confident. Next one, a film set in the past in which the actors are dressed like people from the past. It's called costume drama. For example, like Mughal Azam, it is a past a real story, so actor dressed like people from the past. So that's called costume drama means costume means people wear the dress. So you have to associate something dress means costume and the whatever film is there drama costume drama. Next one a dramatized film based on real events means a movie which is based on real events that's called docudrama like uh, directors make movies on real events like a world war and during the independence era that movies on that are real event movies that called docudrama the next one a list of people involved in making a film usually shown at the end of the film these are called credits 
means credits are nothing but publicly director acknowledge uh, contributors means contributors role in the production of uh, something that movie so he mentioned that list of the people who ever involved in that movie that's called credits means they are giving credits to them next one a combination of music and drama is very easy it's called melodrama music and drama is called melodrama you can associate like m for music and drama melodrama now let's see the next one music that goes with the film it's called a soundtrack like for example we can say this soundtrack like uh, old in olden movies there is a background music along with the movie that called soundtrack music goes with the film next one a film about cowboys in the western north part of america now cowboys is nothing but these are the western people who wear hat and boots long boots that's called cowboys so it's western people so western north part is very easy western already is here so you have to write western next one the story of the lives and action of a family is also very easy it uh, means any movie based on the family is called family saga next one someone whose character contrast the protagonist now contrast means opposite so protagonist means hero opposite to hero who that would be obviously villain we call it foil foil or antagonist you can say that means villain now the next one a character who represent a type that's called stereotype now represent a type means what means showing a prejudice so that's called stereotype showing type means stereotype the first showing of a film obviously you are you know this one premiere premiere means first showing of a film or any drama next one unusual sound or images created artificially using new technology it's called special effect now what is special effect special effect is nothing but like movies like doraemon and barbie movies or monster movies where we have seen that there are the artificial things like uh, a cartoon non living thing but they look like real so where they have used the technology and because of this technology it's look like real that's called special effect next one the script of a film including acting instruction and scene direction is called screenplay the scripts are nothing but these are the directions to the hero and heroine that what they have to say or do while recording the movie that are called screenplay so you can associate something with it like screenplay means before playing on the screen they have to memorize that script so that's called screenplay now let's see the literary vocabulary i told you already literary vocabulary is nothing but it's related to writing now we are seeing this again you will get the same type of question they'll give you two options by giving one sentence this suppose you are getting this question in your exam they'll give you two option one correct one incorrect you have to take the correct one first one a biography that treats its subject with undue reverence it's called hagiography now what is the meaning of this undue reverence undue reverence or hagiography is nothing but we are writing something means biography means we are writing someone's life history by giving full respect to them complete respect by giving complete respect to them that's called uh, undue reverence that's called hagiography like usually writers uh, write stories on the lives of saints that's called hagiography next one a mode of writing that uses vigorous and combative language to defend or oppose someone or something is called polemical so here you can see here vigorous and combative language means harsh language so the word polem it came from the greek that means war so if you want to show disagreement or argument that time you have to use this it's a like a conflict so it's called polemical writing based on or verifiable by observation and experience called empirical now this empirical is nothing but someone writing something like autobiography or biography or something else like travel log by experiencing something by observing everything so after observing and experiencing if writing something that work is called empirical next one an idea or theory that is not proven but that leads to further study or discussion is called hypothesis so hypothesis is nothing but it's an assumption 
or idea that is proposed to sake of the argument means it's not proved true or not be false we can consider is true that's called hypothesis next one a work that imitates make fun or comments on an original work called parody parody is nothing but here writer use old work and criticize that work and humorously use exaggerated imitation in that work make fun of that works that's called parody now let's see the next one a narrator who knows the thoughts and feelings of all the characters in the story that's called omniscient so omniscient is nothing but here the person who knows everything that's called omniscient like we refers to a special power of god as well writing a style that attempts to convince the reader to adopt a particular opinion it's called persuasive means it is an art means a writer writing something and they want by their writing they want to change someone's belief through their reasoning it's called persuasive writing style of a writer where he use such a words that after reading his work the person will change its beliefs or it will adopt the opinion of the writer that's called persuasive next one an article in a newspaper or magazine that mainly reflects the author's opinion about a particular issue is called opinion piece now don't get confused between opinion piece and persuasive because here persuasive means by writing a writer it's forcing someone to adopt his opinion but here opinion piece means personal opinion of the author means here he is not forcing someone to adopt his opinion uh, suppose if you like something you can share your opinion that i like so and so thing because of this reason and if you don't like something you can say i don't like this because of this so and so reason so that's called opinion piece is a but individual's own opinion that call opinion piece but here writer forcing someone to adopt a particular opinion by his writing his style that's called persuasive next one the quality of appealing to be true or real is called verisimilitude means something that is true or real that's called verisimilitude a piece of writing which contain mixture of different style that's called pastiche a writing style is there in which we can see a mixture of different different styles like comedy horror or romance and all that's called pastiche different styles are there in one work next one the time and place of action is called setting so what is this setting setting is nothing but it is a place or type of surrounding where something is positioned or where an event takes place that's called a setting like for horror movie they take a palace like horror palace dark palace that call a setting a place of a particular thing next one the use of words to convey a meaning that is opposite of the literal meaning it's called irony type of figurative language in which a non human subject is given human characteristic called personification like we say india is our mother country so here india is a non human thing but still we are giving her a title as a mother so that only call personification next a book that is link and contain lot of action usually dealing with a historical subject is called epic so this epic is nothing but it is a long poem which is typically derived from the ancient or oral tradition which describe the heroic deeds like ramayana and mahabharat that's called epic means heroic deeds which is in the form of long poem or long story next one the perspective from which a story is told it's called point of view point of view is nothing but which is a particular attitude or way of considering a matter it's called point of view means suppose if uh, a fairy tale if someone is writing about a fairy tale or a movie is on fairy tale so you could say that this story is told from a child point of view so this is all about today's videos i hope it would be helpful for you so stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching you would get this two bits only in your exam you won't get the next exercise which they have given you in your textbook only from this two bits you'll get questions